What's up, motherfuckers? Mark from DSG. And Becky. Is he, Becky's channel is in, in the description. So if you want to check it out, check. It's like Broke to Boss Girl. And subscribe to my fucking channel because half you motherfuckers are watching my videos without subscribing. And I know that from YouTube. I have like a YouTube fairy that comes to me every morning and be like, Mark, Mark, Mark. Tell half me exactly who as well. So. Yeah, they tell me like who you motherfuckers are and like and the YouTube fairy said that like if you watch more than two videos and don't subscribe, she's gonna come and take a tooth out your mouth. Like you know there was a tooth fairy that like give you money for the tooth. Yeah. This motherfucker <laughs> is gonna leave YouTube headquarters and rotten one of your fucking teeth and that bitch is gonna fall out. <laughs> so if you don't want to lose a tooth in 2018, subscribe to my fucking channel. If you wanna learn to drop ship and make money. Subscribe, and if you want to have a nice, beautiful smile like I do, <laughs> you're gonna subscribe anyway. So, what were we talking about? Did you see that comment about my phone? Yes, I have an iPhone 5, <laughs> and I'm keeping it. Did you see that comment? No, she makes so much money. Why does she have an iPhone 5? Because I do, and I'm not getting a new one. I went, to, I went to buy an iPhone X actually this weekend, yeah. and in Nicaragua, it's like $1,500, yeah. and I'm like, fuck that. Like I thought about it, and when this phone was acting up, I was like, I need a new one, and then I was like, no, I'll now that you said that, I'm keeping this <laughs> until it literally dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, because it, you thought it was dead this weekend. Yeah, I thought it had died. I was like, oh. and I, in, in my head, I was like, I'm just not getting a phone. I'm not going to give in. I would rather have my money in my bank account than here to impress strangers, so... <laughs> So fuck y'all who think she needs a new iPhone. <laughs> anyway, so we, this video, what is retail arbitrage? So you had a situation, so, so I can't remember. I went to this like digital nomad house and people were asking me what I do and I said I do eBay drop shipping. And somebody said, oh, so is it like retail arbitrage? And I said, yes. And they said, do you buy all of the stock beforehand? And I said, no, I buy it after. And he said, oh, so it's not really retail arbitrage. And because I couldn't be bothered to argue with some ignorant prick, <laughs> I just said, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, fuck, it is. so fuck this ignorant prick in a nomad life house or whatever yeah. you call it. So e retail arbitrage is, there are two like versions of re First of all, arbitrage is just like. You can buy it in one market and it's you can sell it for more in, in another market. market whether that be your local shop to your friends that could be retail arbitrage and it's usually instantaneous because yeah, like yeah. like for instance in the caribbean there are some stocks that are one price in trinidad yeah. and the exact same company is a different price in jamaica yeah. on the jamaican stock exchange because of like currencies and all type of bullshit yeah so you could do some weird arbitrage where you could just buy stock here and sell it in another yeah. country and that's like what i used to do with the match betting thing um ah yeah basically yeah. that because the odds are different on different sites and you can make more ass yeah so yeah. so basically arbitrage is just like buying and selling something in two different markets and making a profit instantly right okay. um there is a version of retail arbitrage where people would like take the amazon application and like walk around in retail stores and scan yeah. the UPC, scan the barcode, and it'll tell you how much it sells on Amazon. Yeah. So you know you could buy it in this store and then sell it on Amazon and like more. make a profit. Yeah. And like what we do, which I think is the coolest fucking retail arbitrage that exists, is we sell stuff first for more money. So let's say my can of Arizona, right? Not sponsored. Yeah, we're not <laughs> sponsored by Arizona. Those of you people who think that like um, everything I'm, in the video is sponsored. Yeah, like we're not. <laughs> but yeah, let's say I buy the. Let's say I know that I could buy this for ninety nine cents with free shipping, and I go sell it on eBay for three dollars, and then I buy it. So that's a version of retail arbitrage that we do, and it is, it is drop shipping in the sense that like. Drop shipping, you sell first, you sell something and then use a supplier yeah, yeah. to ship it to them. But it is also retail arbitrage because our suppliers are retailers. Yeah. And so then, yeah, the key thing is that you're getting it from a retailer. Right. And not from a wholesaler. And we sell it on a retail platform, I guess. Yeah. Like eBay. So yeah, so those of you guys who think that retail arbitrage is some other secret shit, it's not. It's just like, it's very, 
a kind of semantics thing. It's very basic. It's yeah. just that, like, and there's the question of well, why would somebody buy it for more on one market if they could get it cheaper in another? Because people do. Yeah. They do. <laughs> Yeah, like why do people shop at Walmart and oh shop at Target, yeah. which is clearly more expensive. That's just what it is. Some people yeah. shop on eBay and we have to sell there. Some people shop on Amazon, and like, yeah, and Amazon is a big thing because like people mat millions and millions of dollars in retail arbitrage, and there's some brands that Walmart just would not put on the Amazon platform, mm -hmm. and then they are taking advantage of that in like a huge way, which is. Competition is interesting. Yeah. Because if Walmart just decided to like sell on, I don't know if Amazon would let them. Yeah, yeah. But if they just did, then I'll fuck up a lot of. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone dropped you. So yeah. Anyway, guys, hopefully we cleared up like the definition of retail arbitrage. I know it's a very basic thing. Some of you motherfuckers on the channel have been drop shipping a long time and like Mark there's some bullshit with us information. Fuck you. There are beginners who need this information also. <laughs> so. I, Chris, it just makes me feel great. Uh, you should see someone about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, look in the description for the free shit. Subscribe, look for my channel in the description. Later.